Hey guys, this is Josh from Drone Days, and I'm going to do a quick overview of upgrading your KISS ESCs and uh, KISS flight controller to run D-Shot. Um, I've only had a few flights on D-Shot since I have upgraded from the ZTW 20 amps to the KISS ESC 24 amp um, running D-Shot 300. And I just want to give a little bit of forewarning that when I initially had it set up, I was running D-Shot. I had two flights and both of them resulted in a crash because my video transmitter went out and or my flight controller went out. Um, screen went fuzzy, I landed, crashed, and went to a walk up, everything was on and but my video transmitter was off and I've never had a problem with my video transmitter so uh, I switched to the one shot 42 and didn't have any issues flew on that for a few packs and didn't have any problems so the next day I went out and flew the one shot 42 for a little bit and then I switched to the D shot 600 and had no problems so I posted a thing on the Rotor Riot Facebook page and they suggested to try running a lower settings of the D-Shot. So I've been running D-Shot 300, haven't had any issues. Um, it's, it's awesome. I definitely would recommend it if your system can handle it. And this is just how to upgrade it and get it enabled onto your flight controller. All right. So this is going to be a quick um, tutorial about how to upgrade and flash your KISS ESC 24 amp and how to install the D-Shot software. <clears throat> I know it sounds pretty easy. I had a lot of problems when I first set it up and I'll show you what I had to do to fix that. So <clears throat> first you're going to want to install the, the GUI system, whether it's through Google Chrome or through um, the standalone software that uh, KISS has on their website. And you can see the, the address right here. And of course you're going to want to install the latest firmware onto your KISS flight controller which you I've always done it through the um, defuse system that way I've never had problems with that and so if you want to know how to do that um, we can look at that later all right all right so let's go ahead and we'll grab the flight controller software which you should already have it updated <clears throat> Um, this is the one that I've downloaded, version 1.1. And uh, if you have the KISS ESC 24 amp, and that's what the what I'm showing, um, this is what I've downloaded is um, this firmware right here. So this firmware, and this firmware. And then also, I've read through um, the D-Shot uh, form on RC Groups, and it just kind of talks about um, what it is, um, what it's capable of doing, and then it also has the same files. So what I would recommend is downloading this. This is the ESC flash loader. And I know that KISS has a flasher on their, on their GUI system. And once we get a little bit further, I'll explain why I would recommend using the other loader. Okay, so now flight controller has been Upgraded. Like I said, I'm not going over that. I'm just assuming that you have the latest firmware, and if you are not sure, you should have the options 
for D shot over here, PWM, one shot 125, one shot 42, one D shot 150, D shot 300, D shot 600. So uh, right now I'm running D shot 300 and I'll explain that a little bit later. And so we're gonna go over to um, ESC flasher. And now we can see down here, my controller 1.1 RC6. Easy to see flasher. You're gonna say, of course, we're always gonna remove our props. So make sure you remove the props anytime you're hooking your controller, your quad to your computer because you know you don't know if they're gonna just spin up randomly or or whatnot. So <clears throat> take them off. You're gonna say, I know what I'm doing. All right. So now you're going to select your firmware. So we're going to select our firmware we're going to go to wherever you've downloaded your file and i just had this and where i'm making this video so it's the kiss 24 amp 108 f it's a hex file again it's got a hex down here so we're going to open that up it's loaded this many blocks and because i've already flashed these and it's working i'm not going to flash again but you're going to click flash firmware and it takes about 10 minutes to go through the upgrade after the upgrades done you're gonna power cycle you're gonna turn it on and uh, I'll show you that okay so now that <clears throat> we're all done we flash our ESCs and again so I just want to let everybody know that I do not have the little telemetry hooked up to the ESCs I just run just straight signal and power. I that's why we're, I'm assuming that's why I'm not showing up any ESC information. Um, I just <clears throat> I literally jumped up from the ZTW 20 amps and to the Kiss ESCs, so I didn't want to start tearing apart this thing um, right now. So that's why I have don't have any information on here. All right, so we're gonna go back to uh, configuration and <clears throat> you got your D shots so my experience is so you can try to just start from the top down or from the bottom up whichever one and you're gonna select whichever one you want <clears throat> you're gonna go to save settings just like if you were updating anything <clears throat> and then this is where I came into problems is that when I went to uh, arm my quad, um, the ESC blue lights would turn on and it would just beep. And I would throttle up and it would just beep. <clears throat> and it wouldn't do anything. So this is where I'm going to get into that little troubleshooting area where if this way works, this is the way I would recommend. It's the easiest. If the other way... If it does not work and it's doing that, then I want to recommend using the ESC flash loader that I had you guys install <clears throat> from the RC groups. So we'll go ahead and open that up. It's the same type of thing. And of course I'm running a Mac so I can't open it up. So I'm going to switch over to my Windows computer and I'll show you guys on there. Okay, so... As you can see, we are on my Windows uh, computer, and I don't have um, I don't have a Windows screen recorder. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna type Chrome dot dot slash slash settings. This will bring us to the settings. We're gonna come over here to extensions, and as you can see, this is what we want: the flash loader. So we're gonna load unpacked extension and you're just going to select the file uh, where wherever <clears throat> wherever the file is at, is at you're going to select that uh, so you don't need to unzip the, the flash loader so we'll load up the flash loader and we're going to get this these settings here and this is a KISS 24FW version 1.01 or higher with a working bootloader and this is the one that you want so you'd select your COM, it's COM3, it's the same thing, it's, we're going through the KISS flight controller, 
Uh, we're going to choose your files the same as what was done earlier through the flight controller and you're going to do the KISS flight controller 24 amp uh, 108 hex will open up this file and then what you're going to do is you're going to write flash and it says I'm sure my ESC has a bootloader because we want version um, 1.02 or higher and again it does confirm that earlier in the in the settings so um, this is the way I did it I loaded it up got it going and it worked and then I went back into my my apps and I can select controller maybe it'll work I went back into my KISS flight controller and I loaded that up, armed it, and please, please, please make sure you guys have saved all of your, your rates and your PIDs because I did not and right now I'm still trying to figure out where they were at. It was a dumb mistake on my end. So just make sure you save your PIDs before you take on this endeavor. If you guys have any questions, you can leave it in the comments below. And I hope you I hope this you guys found this informative.